what's up guys welcome back to another video it is the first of november and how the hell did that happen it's insane to think i've got less than a month to go before the end of my first year of medicine between now and the end of november we write a bunch of exams so our sixth block was renal and we are writing our renal block exams next week wednesday and thursday so we've got a few days to prepare today i woke up at about half past five so i had a little bit of a lie in um i, I was quite productive i've done about seven lectures so far um, went through to the gym for about an hour, got a haircut, had a shave, so now I look like a 12 year old again. It's just after 12 o'clock now, so the plan for the rest of the day is to go, there's a little wimpy restaurant down the road from where I stay, so I'm going to go and sit there for about maybe three and a half, four hours maybe, and just try and get through the rest of what I have planned for today. I've got about another 20 lectures that I hope to get through, so I'm going to see how far I can push it. Tonight I'm going to be seeing my girlfriend, so we're just going to maybe go out for dinner or something, have a little date night, and then after that, try and finish everything that I don't get through today. Hey guys, so it's Saturday morning. It's about half past nine now. I got up at about half past four this morning to do some studying and I managed to get through about 11 lectures, so not too bad. I'm gonna go through to the gym now for about an hour, just get a bit of a workout in, and then the rest of the day is kind of like a ride off to be honest, because the Rugby World Cup final is on at 11 o'clock, and then half past two, Man United are playing. So pretty much from about 11 until five, it's just sports. Hey guys, so it's Sunday morning, it's about half past nine, and I'm kind of following the same schedule as I did yesterday. I got up at half past five, and from then until now I've gone through about ten lectures or so, and now I'm just about to head off to the gym. Today I think I'm going to spend most of the day sitting at a restaurant or something like that to try and get through as much studying as possible, uh, because yesterday after the rugby and the football, which we lost because my team is crap, uh, I didn't get much studying done, so I'm going to try and make up for that today. So today didn't go according to plan at all. I went through to the gym, and before I was finished, I started to get signs of a migraine. So I don't know if you guys have had it before, but I start to have issues with my vision. I think they're called aura. So I started to have all these things going wrong with my vision. Within about 10 minutes, I couldn't see anything out most of my right eye, most of my left eye. And since about half past 10 till now, which is about half past 3, I've not been able to do anything. So kind of a massive waste of a day, uh, which is kind of stressing me out as well because I had quite a lot to do because yesterday I didn't really get through much either. Uh, even now, I can still feel I've got quite a bad headache, so I don't know how much I'm actually going to get through today. I might just have to call this day a write-off completely and start again tomorrow because I, I can't really concentrate. I'm going to take some more pain medication now, try and get some more sleep in, and um, hopefully tonight I can get some studying done. 
we'll see how it goes. If not, I'm gonna have to really push tomorrow and Tuesday because we write on Wednesday already. So it's just more stress to deal with right before exams. Um, I suppose there's not much else I can do, so we'll see how it goes. Wednesday morning just after seven o'clock and I'm just about to get ready to go in for my exam. I must be honest out of all the exams I've had this year this one I probably feel least prepared for. It was a relatively short block so we only had three weeks of class in this block as opposed to the normal six that we have uh, and I think I might have shot myself in the foot a little bit in how I prepared for this exam. So because we have our end of year exams coming up in just a couple weeks as well um, first week or two I actually spent a bit of time studying for that exam instead of purely just focusing on renal so I don't feel as prepared as I should be there was a lot of information to get through in such a short period of time as well so I'm kind of feeling a little bit wary uh, I do know generally what's going on just going over my notes now in the car and the small little details that I've been forgetting so hopefully it sticks during the exam it is the exam that counts the least towards our year mark so there's some consolation in that but of course you want to do well in every exam that you you write I'm not feeling too nervous we'll see how the exam goes uh, we do write another one tomorrow so if, if it's really not that good I will spend the rest of the day after the exam just going over everything that I wasn't too comfortable with but too late to change anything now let's see how this goes Hey guys, so it's Thursday. I've just gotten back from writing our second renal exam and today's paper was a little bit more difficult than yesterday's I thought, but overall uh, not bad for either. Uh, the chemical pathology wasn't too in depth and the pathology wasn't too hectic. So overall I thought it was a decent exam. I'm glad that's over and done with and we can put that aside and stop stressing about it because we start OSCEs next week. We have our two OSCEs on Tuesday and Thursday. So the OSCEs are where we are tested on our clinical skills that we've learned throughout the year. And it is something that you have to pass in order to pass the year. So if you fail OSCEs, you repeat the whole of GEMP1 again. So it's a little nerve wracking. So pretty much between now, so today's Thursday and um, Tuesday, I'm just gonna be focusing as much as I can on learning OSCEs, um, practicing the skills over and over and over again until they become kind of like muscle memory and the narrative just becomes ingrained so I don't actually have to think about it. Usually at this stage we would get a bit of a break after writing our block exams but that's not the case but it's going to be pretty much non-stop from now until the end of November because right after OSCEs we have our end of year exams where we are tested on pretty much everything we've learned throughout the year so that's also going to be a massive exam so pretty much non-stop from now until the end of November and then we get pretty much most of December off as well. Anyway, so I just want to say thank you so much again for watching the videos. Uh, I hope you're enjoying them. If you are, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with anything that you would like to see in any future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.